Hello, my name is Ezekiel, and I am a professional video editor. And, hey guys, my name is Sophia, and I am a professional influencer who makes videos. In this video, Sophia and I are excited to reveal a new, advanced AI tool that turns your sketches into realistic images. As you can see on my screen, guys, I've transformed many architectural sketches into realistic images. Not only that, but you can also convert sketches into digital vectors. Unlike Midjourney. Yes. Also, there's no need for coding or dealing with complex errors. It's very easy and simple. You won't believe this, but I was scrolling through the Fiverr freelance platform and saw someone offering a service to convert sketches into digital vector art using AI. This person is making money, having sold over 1,000 services at $10 each, which amounts to $10,000 a month. It's unbelievable. So how can you do this and earn money, perhaps for your architecture projects? I'll show you in this video, but don't skip any part, as all the steps are very important in this process. Stay tuned. First, you need to search Google for MimicPC.com and select the first website you see. Here, you'll find the free AI generator online. Yes, it's free, and the best part is that this AI tool can be launched without installation, meaning you don't need to download anything. Everything is done online. Click on Free Launch, then sign up with Google. After sign up, you will land here. And now, you can see here nine apps to generate sketches into real images. We will use Auto Double Eleven WebE to start, click, get started. A slider will appear and I will choose the hardware Large Pro for fast image generation. Then click Create and Start. It takes a moment to start the engine, as you can see on my screen. Once the web UI engine is started, you'll see the first option, Stable Diffusion Checkpoint. There are many checkpoints for different usages, but since I want to convert a sketch to an image, I need to download a Stable Diffusion Checkpoint file that generates sketches into images. On the left side, you'll see seven files. Click Model, then Stable Diffusion File. Here, you'll see the file path I entered. Now, as you can see, I'm inside the stable diffusion file. Click the upload button, then click select file to upload the X architectural V1 file. Don't worry, I'll provide this file link in the description so you can download and upload it here. As you can see on my screen, the file upload has started. It's a large four gigabyte file, so it takes some time. Make sure this file uploads to the correct location. Otherwise, it won't work. After a few minutes, my file is finally uploaded. Now in the Stable Diffusion Checkpoint section, click the Reload icon and select your uploaded checkpoint. You can see our checkpoint is selected. In the Prompt area and Negative Prompt area, before writing any prompt, go to the Control Net V1.1.449 bar section, click to open it, and you'll see an image drop option. Drop your sketch here, like I'm doing right now. Scroll down to the Preprocessor section, click, and select Linear Realistic. Change the model from None to the correct one by going to the right side, clicking the models file, then Control Net File. This is the file location you need to access. Again, upload a file here. The link is in my description, so make sure to subscribe to this channel because I will help you and please help me achieve 100k subscribers. After clicking the upload icon, I upload a Control V11 file. This uploads quickly because it's a smaller file. Once complete in the model section, click the reload icon and you'll see your uploaded file. Select Control V11P. Now, click the red icon in the preprocessor section. You can see your sketches preprocessor preview done. Ah. In the prompt area, write your prompt like I'm doing now. Before clicking generate, ensure your image size parameters fit. For example, my sketch file size is 442x 442. So I set the width and height to 442 442. Now everything is set. Let's click generate and see how it works. Oh wow, this is amazing. Did you see that guys? Amazing work by this AI, how perfect it is. If you write a more detailed prompt like modern room, pink, white, it generates that type of image. Okay, um, ah, uh, wow, it looks amazing. Sophia, would you like this type of Barbie room? Oh my goodness, this looks awesome, Ezekiel. And guys, not only that, if you go back to the landing page, you'll see more features like Focus, RVC, Olama Web UI, Chatbot, and Face Fusion. Wow, Face Fusion works amazingly well. Let me show you how it works. Click Get Started to start this engine. You'll see lots of options, but I'll show you Face Sweeper. Upload the source picture here and the target picture next. This AI swaps faces, and as you can see, 
it works perfectly. There are more options like Face Enhancer and Lip Sync. Also, click and go back and you'll see Comfy UI, which is a very advanced AI. Yes, guys, Comfy UI is an amazing advanced AI tool that's already available. I'm not sure if you're aware, but if you watch this video carefully, on the left is an MP4 video where a person creates different facial structures, and on the right is just a photograph that allows you to have real animations. Here's another example where you can see a reference file on the left and an image on the right mimicking that behavior. I thought this was really impressive. Now to get this up and running, you might ask how they do this. Well, all of this is done with the help of Comfy UI. On my screen, you can see some examples. In this video, the person shows how to bring static portraits to life using Comfy UI. You can take a painting, an AI generated portrait, or even a real photograph and animate it with your own lip movements and facial expressions. If you'd like to create a digital AI avatar that looks and sounds just like you, I hope you now understand how powerful Comfy UI is. However, using Comfy UI can be, can be challenging because you need to download many files from other sites as per your requirements. You can see some images of how other YouTubers use Comfy UI. Yes, it's complicated, but if you comment down below, Sophia and I will definitely make a dedicated video on Comfy UI. Wow, Ezekiel explained Comfy UI amazingly. Now, if you want to generate high quality images, you need to try Focused is an open source image generation software that focuses on usability. It combines the best elements of stable diffusion and mid-journey. If I start this engine, you can see it's very easy to use. Okay, now we have the dashboard open. Everything might look blank to you right now. If you look here, you have two options. If I tick input image, you can upload an image and generate a new variation of that image. But for now, we will prioritize prompt to image. So I'll leave this unticked and enable the advanced option. Now many features and options are enabled here, which you can use during image generation. Let's generate an image. For that, you need to have a good prompt. I have this prompt that I'm going to try, so I'll just copy and paste it here. After that, you need to scroll down, and you can also add a negative prompt here. This will help generate your image even better. I have a negative prompt, so I'll just copy and paste it here. Perfect. After this, you can try any preset you like in the settings. For performance, keep it on speed for now. Then, you can select the aspect ratio below. If I go to styles, you will find many styles here that you can apply to generate images in different styles. I've already applied three styles, so I'll also apply Focus Photograph. After that, choose the model. Then, in advance, you can increase the guidance scale and image sharpness. After doing this, just click on Generate. The image generation process is underway. It will take a maximum of 30 seconds. If you chose fast hardware at the beginning, it will generate even faster. All right, now see the image has been generated and the result is really impressive. Just look at the color combination, texture, and style in the image. It looks really realistic. If you face any problems using this Mimic PC AI, you can join their WhatsApp group by clicking here and sending a screenshot. They will help you. So click on the link in my description and visit this amazing Mimic PC AI. Also, don't forget to watch the next video on your screen where I reveal the world's first 3D AI avatars. So watch it.